a Chicago woman is filing a complaint against a suburban staffing agency alleging discrimination that she overheard by accident. WGN's Brona Tumulty joining us in the studio with details. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, all of this centers on a voicemail left for a woman named Ashley Chapman. Now, the first part of the voicemail is your standard missed call. The rest is what could potentially land this company in some hot water. Less than, um, like trash. I don't know. A lot of things I can't say because I can't cuss, but. I just feel less than. Ashley Chapman, a single mother, speaking today about how she felt following receipt of a voicemail, which she alleges came from someone at a suburban staffing agency. Let's see what Ashley Newman looks like. I'm thinking it's like on You think? You think she? All right. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh -uh. Jamaican men love white women. Yeah, I don't think she's black. I yeah, I think she's white. Yeah, I think she's white trash. Chapman is a Chicago native and had just moved home from North Dakota. With two kids to provide for her, she was trying to track down a job, so says she enlisted some help from a company. It was an absolutely repulsive message. Um and you know, in employment in cases of employment discrimination, usually you don't find out about why decisions were made. Usually people aren't stupid enough to leave a voicemail with things like this. The voicemail starts off like any other. Hi, Ashley. Uh, but the caller appears to not hang up properly. Same answer. Same answer. Did you leave a I did. With various inappropriate comments then recorded. Your baby daddy is married and apparently you've had some Employers should not care whether somebody is married or has children and whether they are married to their kid's father. That's just not a relevant inquiry that employers should, should even think about, let alone discuss when they are considering whether to hire somebody. Chapman and her lawyer have now filed a formal charge of discrimination with the Illinois Department of Human Rights, a prerequisite for any potential lawsuit, and they want the company investigated. What we've alleged in our charge of discrimination is that there's marital status discrimination, that there's gender discrimination, and, and that there's race discrimination. Chapman says she even called back in spite of the voicemail, still hoping to be hired. Because I need a job. I need money for my kids. It wouldn't matter where I worked. People make mistakes, but they just take it too far. But tells us with no job and no apology, accountability is necessary. That's why I'm doing this. So they won't feel like they have to bite their tongue or feel like they got to just hide from the world because it's, I'm sorry, but that's why I'm doing this. So my daughter ain't got to worry about, you know, if she should speak up for herself. Now, we haven't named the company as they have not been investigated, but again, that complaint has been filed with the State Department of Human Rights, with Chapman and her lawyer asking officials to take a thorough look at what's happened. We're live in the studio, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.